In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize a ton of images using Photoshop all at once. So I have all of these images, uh, but they are approximately 1.872 megs each, which is just a little bit large, so I want to decrease the size on them a little bit. I'm going to head over into Photoshop and I'll click File, Scripts, Image Processor. Now here I'm going to select the images to process and we will have a location to save the process images. You can do a different location or you can save them in the same location. We'll just save them in the same location and we want them to be as a JPEG. You can also resave them as PSD or TIFF files. You can also select multiple so you can do this all at once if that's going to be helpful to you and we'll change the quality to five and if I want to I can also convert the profile to RGB so that's really good because I work in CMYK a lot and I can convert them um, to our screen RGB Another thing you can do here is run an action. So if you have uh, used the batch feature in the past with Photoshop, another option here is um, auto match automate batch and you can set any of the actions that you've created in Photoshop. I have another video showing you how to do that. Uh, but what's cool is you can kind of do those actions and resave them all at the same time with this image processor script. I'm not going to run any actions right now. I'm just going to run the script for resizing. And while it's resizing, I just want to say, hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer, and I love to teach people how to design wedding invitations and run successful businesses. So while you're here, I hope you'll subscribe and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Watch some of my other videos all about using the Adobe Creative Cloud, running a stationary business, marketing, pricing, all of those kind of things. If you are interested in becoming a stationary designer, um, I have a membership called Stationary School where I release lessons every single month for you into your portal uh, to learn all about running a successful stationary business. So let's see what we created here. So we have this JPEG folder and all of our new images and the new size here is 226. Okay, so these have all been resized and I just want to show you one other thing is if you want them to be resized to a specific size, for instance, Etsy says, you know, it has to be at least 2000 pixels on its shortest side. So you could just put in here your 2000 pixels, you could put your height that you want for each one. I would recommend making sure that all the ones you're doing at once are the same ratio or if the ratio doesn't matter, that's okay. Um, but these are all square, so that would be completely fine if I wanted to resize all of these to 2000 by 2000, for instance. So I hope this was helpful. Check out some of our other videos while you're here. Let me know what questions you have on using Photoshop.